going to demonstrate today our um, Ashland 7000C uh, triple quad GC uh, mass spectrometer that we've got. And uh, I'm going to set, uh, set the uh, instrument going and we're going to analyse a 100 femtogram on column as 10 to the minus 13 grams of octafluoronaphthalene on column uh, using this system. So I've set the sequence up, sequence, and run the system, run the sequence. So this uses Mass Hunter 10, Mass Hunter 10 software, and um, we'll now go to the instrument and I'll discuss the instrument. So the instrument, so I was saying, is a 7000C. It's an electron impact uh, uh, triple quad um, mass spectrometer. It has dual filaments. Uh, the scan rate is about 6,250 microscans per second. MRM speed 800 transitions per second with a minimum MRM flow of half a second. So half a millisecond. So we've now, uh, we've now got it connected to the Power RSI 85 um, injector. Um, this is uh, set up for normal uh, vial injection, but also if you look in the far right hand side, there's also the um, headspace unit on there as well. And the GC has uh, twin inlets. Uh, so the two columns can be fitted and also there's a system inside where you can change the column without having to vacate the mass spectrometer every time. So it's now going through its various wash cycles which is all programmable from the uh, Mass Hunter software and also it can be manually programmed as well from the controller by the side of the panel to sample as well. So what, what JT can do for yourself, that they obviously can do all the, they'll do all the installation, um, they can also do all the servicing in future years for you, and I can, to help you along, uh, offer you a method development, developing the methods that you need, uh, particularly uh, determining the various MRM transitions for the chromatography that you require for either known or even unknown compounds using the product iron scan. getting rid of the air out of the uh, syringe at the moment. Automated stop start and we'll do some more wash cycles afterwards. So now it's injected uh, to uh, preserve the filament. We don't have that turn on for two, two minutes or uh, one minute. Um, so the, um, the solvent that the uh, compound's dissolved in can come off. Otherwise you shorten the lifetime of the filament. You can see that um, it's got two vacuum systems. It's got a, a roughing pump on there, an Edwards 5 roughing pump. And that's currently at 1.63 times 10 to the 2 uh, millitors, which is 0.163 tall. And obviously you've got a, a double vacation system in the actual mass spectrometer itself. And that currently is uh, 8.41 times 10 to the minus 5 uh, tall. So there's the, it's now switched on, there's the, the switch on point. And of course the great thing about gas chromatography is because you control the gases so easily um, you get very, very, very reproducible retention times. So uh, tuning is done of the instrument normally at the beginning of a run or the beginning of the week. I'm just going to show you here at the end of the run how easy it is to tune this. So basically, this click on instrument, uh, MS2, okay, and then we'll get it to um, print out the data, and then we'll just get it all to tune. 
and it's just settling down. And it's, uh, that stabilization delay, that's just letting the calibrant in, which is perfluorotributyl amine. The emission plant is going up to 35 microamps. It needs no interference at all from the user. And afterwards, once it's done its uh, tune, uh, we can then do a check tune. Up to plus two pinch, you see a 69 and 502. 69 is a CF3, and 502 is whole molecule minus CF3, a CF2, a CF3. <laughs> also, see the isotopes at 17, 503. So it then goes through its uh, routine, and, uh, and at the end, you'll get a, a good printout which I'll uh, uh, attach to the, uh, the link that's going to be provided. So the auto tune is now done, press OK, and then what we're going to do now is we're going to do the, uh, the check tune. So this tells you then, I'm going to print it out, uh, which is optional, and we'll do the check tune, and that will just confirm that everything is in order and everything will just say OK, OK, OK. And again, I'll uh, attach this data uh, to the uh, information that's sent out to the instrument.